What is up guys, it is Fox 5 here, and today um, is a video talking about how I record my PS3 gameplay to my Elgato um, in HDMI, because you guys didn't know, the uh, PS3 has an HDCP, like an HD encryption code, so that way you cannot actually record um, HDMI gameplay with your Elgato um, capture card. So first of all, you'll need one cable um, that does not come with your Elgato. Um, for one, you obviously need... Um, your Elgato, and this does not come with your Elgato, but this is a, um, uh, what is it? Um, when I got my graphic card for my computer, it's just a little piece that kept the, um, HDMI thing in there. So whenever I'm not using the HDMI in, I just plug, um, that in. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There you go, plug that in. You need the, um, S-Video from your Elgato that came with it. Um, you obviously need your game, or if you're just going to record a tutorial, you don't need that. Um, and then this is the part, well, you also need a controller. I'm just got, like, a cheap controller that I use to play on. But you also need this controller that I got from, um, or not controller, but this cable, the composite cable that I got from, um, GameStop. And yes, I know my bed is messy and it has, like, little pretty flowers, but it gets the job done. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, um, they have multiple cables here. This is for the Xbox. Um, the Wii, whoever plays a Wii, I don't know if this actually works for the Wii U, but I might. And the PS3, which is what we're going to be using today. And it's actually fairly simple to get HD video on it. So yeah, I'm going to show you, and I do apologize if everything's not in a shot. Never really did a video with, um, my iPod doing like a vlog type thing. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what to do. First of all, you want to take, um, these cables that came with, um, the composite and plug it in to the S-Video. So I'm going to set you guys down right here. Um, you just connect them accordingly. So green goes to green, red goes to red, blue goes to blue. Now, keep in mind, you'll not be using this yellow cord thing because that's for um, 480p video and stuff like that. And yeah, just and then take this, these two reds and white and plug it in this one and that one and you're done you plug this into your elgato and then you plug this into your ps3 so i'll meet you guys over there and i'll show you guys what to do okay so now we're over here and i know um the lighting's not the best um and it's probably not going to get any better than that because i do have crappy lighting um but this is my ps3 pretty much all ps3s look the same and it's going to be really hard doing this video <laughs> like this um i should have just brought it over there which is probably what i should do okay Real quick. Oh my god, this is such a bad video. Okay, so you just take the back of you just take the back of that cable and plug it in accordingly. So I'm on a weird chair, so obviously it's gonna be weird. Um, you plug it in accordingly. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this side up. Plug it in just like that. I know you guys can't see that, but yeah, you plug it in. I felt. Uh, you plug it in just like that, and you plug it in um, normally. So I'm going to put this back up here. And what you should have is everything connected. Um, something like this. You just have something connected like this, and then the yellow cable not being used. If you get this specific cable, I don't know if there's any variations of this cable, but I know there might be. So I'm going to set you guys down right here. I know you probably can see everything in my room, but whatever. Plug the um, cable for the power on again, and then you need your Elgato. So, when you get your Elgato, you just take it, basically, when I got it, like that, take it wherever your thing is. I have mine hooked up right here conveniently, and this might be just a little bit easier. Um, but you just take your Elgato. Um, I don't know if I'm really in shot, but uh, you just take your the HDMI cable that came with your Elgato, plug it into your TV. I have mine set to HDMI 3. It does help if you're using multiple monitors, just for the simple fact that you don't have to go to the different HDMI um, channel to do this. But I'm using only one, so that if you guys are using one, then it'll help you out. If you guys are using multiple, the one will actually be easier for you. Um, I do apologize if I'm talking fast, because I do do that a lot, and I just knocked over the camera. Smart movement. Stay. <laughs> take this, plug the USB into that slot, and then you just take where the S-Video is into this, plug that cable in. Like so. Now everything should be connected, 
it is a mess because I'm doing a tutorial right now and I usually don't do these. Um, but I promise you guys that I will give you a tutorial on anybody who, curi who is curious. Um, oh my god, I almost knocked my Elgato off the right freaking thing. But yeah, you guys should have something like like that. Should be connected and everything. Um, and now you just hit the power button and everything like that. And then it says, no signal is your, sorry if that's not in focus, connected using the game capture HD. And then it is no signal. Now, since um, I was using an HDMI for this, um, connected to this to my TV, um, it needs to reset itself to factory settings. So what you want to do is power it down. Um, this is for people that just don't know and panic. Don't panic if it doesn't work or anything and you just left this video and you're coming back now. Um, you just want to simply hold it until it beeps once. There you go, you hear it beep once. And then it should correct itself and do the correct uh, video format and set up three um, settings. Hi, right, PMC. Ooh. There we go, one moment please. Do that twice, and there you go. And now, I know the quality sucks right now, but this is the part, that the most major part. If you want HD, you want to come over here, grab your controller. I should have set this up beforehand, but I didn't because I'm on nut. And, yeah, you just want to go ahead and set this right and plug this in. Unless you have a wireless one that you could just press the button and everything. I don't have that, but it's really simple. You go um, into... Um, your name, that's my name right there, and I do apologize if it's going to be slow because I'm doing this with the capture. Well, I guess I can do it because, like I said, I'm on HDMI 1 right now where my computer's on, and if I go to HDMI 3 right there, then it'll actually show the video, um, hopefully the PS, there you go, the PS3. I'm going to make it just a little bit easier. So you want to go over to, pretty, I believe, yeah, settings. Um, I have only a 1080, or a 720p screen, um, so... It won't be as better unless you guys have a 1080p, then just click the other one when I show you. Um, you just want to go to display output. As you can see, the current output resolution is 480i. You want to change that to component D terminal. You want to go over, change, it'll go black, and then come back back. And after it does that, you want to say yes. Or no, I, crap, I hit the circle, whatever. Obviously, um, you want to click yes. Go over, change. Oh, I'm, cl I'm clicking the. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Click the X button, not the circle button, which I made that mistake like 500 times. Click yes again, and then go down and select whichever one you do. Mine's only 720p, so I'm going to select that. And you go over one more time, depending on whatever you want. Make sure you select it, or it'll still be in 480. Select, enter, and you can just skip down and finish. There you go. Now you're recording your gameplay for whatever game you're playing um on that if you guys want to add me this is my name tdc rox for ps3 i know this is a really crappy video but hopefully editing will make it a little bit better for you guys um if you guys want any more ps3 tutorials um on stuff like that this is really just simple tutorial on how to set everything up if you guys want more detail on how to record especially my gaming setup with my gaming computer down there if you guys want to know the specs check out my bios i will might do a setup tour and everything i know everything's dirty in my room right now but I will get that situated and everything will be fine, hopefully soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos I have in the description. Don't forget to check out um, everything else that I've done. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to like, dislike it if you didn't like it. Don't forget to comment for any questions you have. I will ask any question or answer any questions that you guys have to offer. Um, thank you guys for watching and supporting my videos. This is a different tutorial, and I know that the shots that I did were not the best. I do not have my own cameraman. I know I'm rich, not. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I might do, like, a setup tour, like I said, about my mouse, keyboard, my, uh, beat pad over there, my headphones, and just a bunch of other crap that I have. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.